it's not often I get to be so excited about something. Yes, Netflix is dropping Wednesday on physical media. I am so excited. This is probably one of those shows. I've already watched this two or three times. Mrs. Pops has watched it. We will rewatch it. I was so blown away as an Adams Family fan that this was so well done that I am so excited. Jenna Ortega is uh, extremely underrated in this role. There's like one filler episode, but man, this was a really really great show. So I'm so happy that it's going to actually drop on physical and not be a streaming only option. And we can all have it sort of stowed away just in case. So uh, with that, I want to read the press release here for you, go through a few things. They say the old uh, WB sent this over for old pops. So I was going to run through uh, what they had to say real quick. If you, if you want, if you want, we will do that. We will do that. We will share this with you guys so you can see it for yourselves. It was, um, Nice and refreshing to see them uh, uh, sending us some cool stuff to share with everybody and, and go through here. So I think you're seeing my box. So let me share this for you. I'm going to share it. Where all that? That's better. All right. So let me share this with you guys and run through it with you. The old WBD sent this over. That's right. The extraordinary first season of the hit comedy series. Ah, it's comedy. It's fantasy. It's more Harry Potter than it was anything else. DVD Blu-ray March 26. That's right. From the creators, Alfred Goff and Miles Miller to Smallville, Tim Burton, the Kooky and Spooky first season of Wednesday, the TV series based on Wednesday Adams of the iconic Adams Family, which streams on Netflix, produced by MGM, a division of Amazon MGM, uh, comes to DVD Blu-ray on March 26th. So pre-order your copy now. So it goes to the cast of Jenna Ortega, Gwendolyn Christie, uh, Jamie McShane, uh, Hunter, Hunter Dewan, Percy Hines White, Emma Myers, Joy Sunday, uh, Catherine Zeta-Jones, uh, Louise uh, Guzman, Isaac Ordinez, and uh, Fred Armisen. Now, 12 Emmy nominations, including Outstanding Comedy and Outstanding Lead Actress. Uh, it talks about some of the other stuff here. Tim Burton was nominated for Best Director for a Comedy Series, eight episodes, Wednesday is sleuthing, supernaturally infested mystery, charting Wednesday Adams' years as a student at Nevermore Academy. Wednesday's attempt to master her emerging psychic ability thwart a monster killing spree that has terrorized the local town and solved the supernatural mystery that embroidered her parents 25 years ago, all while navigating her new and very tangled relationships at Nevermore. 2498, 2998 goes through that so there you go folks yes wednesday is coming and i am so stoked <laughs> i am so stoked so um hopefully you are too where are you at on the show i don't have you watched it or not did you rewatch it and are you interested in physical so the thing about physical media is this is what i really want to see these studios doing go back to more traditional stuff yes you can stream it um i actually don't even have a problem if, if let, let's let's propose the fact, are, what are your thoughts on? Let's say you drop a show and it runs for a few months on a streaming service like a Netflix or a Max or something, right? Let's say it runs or Amazon, uh, Amazon's uh, Amazon Prime. So it runs for uh, two months, three months, whatever it is. Then it ends, and maybe you leave it there. You let it ride based on that, you know, three month window, four month window, and then you pull it down for a minute. Pull it down for thirty days. You do a physical media drop, big big promotion again. Then you put a gap out three months. Then you have it come back. And by that time, you probably have your plans together on season two. You probably have your plans of when it will come back and you can do some extra promotion. So you kind of keep it in the lexicon, keep it in the conversation. I think that they really missed their boat with Wednesday. They should be doing that with uh, Stranger Things. They should do that with some of these high profile shows to really, um, when they're this good, they need to try to figure out how to keep them in the uh, 
into the into the loop and the in the conversation longer. So that's my take on it. Wednesday physical media. Take care, everybody. I am Pops. <laughs>